What is this? This time, it is not Michael Jordan, but LeBron James. And this time, it seems much bigger than last time, with a better storyline as well. The first Space Jam has garnered mixed opinions, especially with all the product placements in that movie. This time, LeBron James must save his son by winning a basketball match with the Looney Tunes characters as his teammates. The production seems huge with new technology making so much more possible. What can we find out from the trailer of Space Jam A New Legacy and from any other sources? Here follows the Space Jam 2 trailer, Easter eggs and moments you totally missed. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Do you still remember Space Jam? Space Jam is a 1996 American live-action animated sports comedy film directed by Cary Coleman. Starring basketball player Michael Jordan, the film presents a fictionalized amount of what happened between Jordan's initial retirement from the NBA in 1993 and his comeback in 1995, in which he enlists the Looney Tunes to help them win their freedom in a basketball match against the Mon Stars, working for Mr. Swackhammer the ruthless owner of the intergalactic amusement park, Moron Mountain, who seeks to enslave the Looney Tunes as his newest attractions. Swackhammer, owner of the amusement park, planet Moron Mountain, is desperate to obtain new attractions and he decides that the Looney Tunes characters would be perfect. He sends his diminutive underlings to get them to him, whether Bugs Bunny and company want to go or not. Well armed for their size, Bugs Bunny is forced to trick them into agreeing into a competition to determine their freedom. Taking advantage of their puny and stubby-legged foes, the gang selects basketball for the surest chance of winning. However, the nerd Lux turn the table and steal the talents of leading professional basketball stars to become massive basketball bruisers known as the Mon Stars. In desperation, Bugs Bunny calls on the aid of Michael Jordan, the Babe Ruth of basketball, to help them have a chance at winning their freedom, says Kenneth Chisel. This premiere takes us on a wild ride sautéed in one-liners and typical Looney Tunes physical comedy. The film also introduced us to Lola Bunny, a female bunny so glowing with sex appeal, she could have come straight out of the pages of Playboy. She kind of makes you want to cover your children's eyes. Well, she is back in Space Jam A New Legacy. The first movie received mixed reviews and people either hated it or loved it. The storyline was terrible, and the movie was jam-packed with product placements. It still entertained, and is that not what movies are supposed to do? Anyway, if the trailer is anything to go by, the new Space Jam is going to be high in entertainment value and laughs. The new Space Jam. The trailer is only 2 minutes and 30 seconds long. The film runs for 90 minutes. Who knows who else will show up in this long-awaited Looney Tunes adventure? In the new trailer, Bugs Bunny holds our hand on this Easter egg hunt. Watch and see how many more you can spot. Fortunately for us, the trailer of Space Jam A New Legacy is full of Easter eggs, many of them offering only fleeting glimpses. We had to take a closer look and point them out to you. As an example, there is one scene in the trailer where Daffy Duck tells Elmer Fudd to shoot the ball, as in throw it through the basket. Fudd rips out his pair of six shooters and begins blasting away at the ball. Daffy is then shown with his beak sitting behind his head, typical of Daffy Duck, who says, Let's try that again, shall we? Granny from Tweety and Sylvester is also seen at the end of the trailer. She has a walker and starts doing gymnastics moves on the walker aid after saying, I am going old school on his butt, referring to a member of the goon squad, their opponents. She then proceeds to kick the ball away and does a superhero crouch landing on the basketball court. Not sure what that's all about, but it is still funny. The goon squad is strong. So strong, in fact, that Daffy does a jaw drop scene, you know, where the character's lower jaw drops onto the floor. It sounds like an Acme anvil hitting the floor. Yes, the goon squad is made up of superheroes. Marvin the Martian is back. Marvin the Martian makes his presence known right in the first few moments of the trailer. Hence this Space Jam A New Legacy trailer Easter eggs list would have been incomplete without mentioning him. Marvin's metal figurine is quite visible in the background when LeBron James is talking with his son. Take a look at the trailer. He frequently appears as a villain in the cartoons and video games and wears a Roman helmet and skirt. Dot from the Animaniacs is next to Marvin. That makes us wonder if the Animaniacs will make an appearance somewhere in the movie. Game of Thrones intro. In Space Jam 2's second trailer, we see how a ring revolves around the Earth and it is the Game of Thrones intro. This ring is noticeable when LeBron James falls into the world of Looney Tunes. 
While this Easter egg cannot be missed, we still decided to point it out. There is also a dragon flying in the trailer which looks suspiciously like one of the dragons from Game of Thrones. Batman Our hero Batman also makes a mini cameo in this LeBron James film. In the trailer, when James is falling into the virtual world, he passes by what seems like Gotham City from space. In the distance, the bat signal is visible. Take a close look in the trailer. The Warner Brothers Water Tower Many Warner Brothers cartoons and shows often feature the company's iconic symbol. The production house did not miss out on the chance to do the same in the Space Jam 2 trailer. In Space Jam's second trailer, a header points at the WB Water Tower. It has previously also featured in the Animaniacs cartoon. The product placements are starting. Scooby-Doo's Mystery Machine in Space Jam A New Legacy trailer would probably be incomplete without a cameo by Scooby and the gang. In Space Jam's second trailer, the mystery machine is very visible. Now that Scooby and his gang have marked their cameos, it will be interesting to see if LeBron James ends up in a scene with them in the film, or any other characters mentioned thus far for that matter. The Flintstones The Flintstones is considered to be one of the most iconic shows ever created by Warner Brothers. No wonder the Flintstones family was featured in the Space Jam A New Legacy trailer. Fred Flintstone is very visible driving his car alongside many other Warner Brothers characters. <laughs> Yabba Dabba Doo, The Iron Giant Iron Giant is instantly the most noticeable recurring character in A New Legacy when he walks across the screen and is seen being ready to play his first basketball game. Perhaps the main reason Space Jam 2 is so strong compared to Ready Player One is that this image also started the first trailer of the Steven Spielberg adaptation. Also, all of the Hanna-Barbera characters, led by Scooby-Doo and Mystery Inc., as discussed earlier, stick out like a sore thumb and are not necessarily Easter eggs. What was Bugs Bunny turning into? There's a brief moment in the trailer that shows James busy turning into a human from a cartoon. In the same sequence, Bugs Bunny's arm is changing from a cartoon to what? We do not get to see that, but is there a chance that Bugs Bunny and the rest will turn human? That would be an amazing twist in the movie, and I know what you're thinking. Who will represent each character? Who will play Daffy Duck, Elmer Fudd, and yeah, Lola Bunny, for example? The rest are too small to mention separately. These include King Kong, fresh from his recent return to Godzilla vs. Kong. The iconic scene from King Kong on the Empire State Building swatting away vintage biplanes is also seen in the trailer. Thundercats Chitara shows up for the big game but you have to squint hard to see her. Mama Fratelli from The Goonies is representing the Goondocks in the cameo. Also found are White Walkers from Game of Thrones, several Batman characters, and even Agent Smith from The Matrix. Yes, this thing is stacked with Easter eggs, so it's easy to see why Warner Brothers decided to release the footage over the Easter weekend. If you're on the verge of the big game, you can also see The Mask, The Droogs from Stanley Kubrick's legendary A Clockwork Orange, War Boys from Mad Max Fury Road, and the evil clown Pennywise. There are multiple references from Wizard of Oz and nods to Curious George and Monsters, Inc. At one point, we see a UFO flying past a planet with a sign which reads, The Maltese Falcon. It is a movie from 1941 with Humphrey Bogart and Mary Astor. We have no idea why it's in there, but maybe it is just a filler. When LeBron James arrives in Looney Tune Land, he finds himself as a cartoon character in the landscape we have come to know as the battleground for the Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote. No use wondering if they will be in the movie, we can see them standing in front of James and Lola Bunny as the dream team. Foghorn Leghorn the rooster is also there, and so are Tweety, Sylvester, Granny, Porky Pig, and Taz the Tasmanian Devil. Who wants to bet at some stage Taz will eat the basketball? Judging by the trailer and the exciting reviews on YouTube, the new version of Space Jam should be a movie you want to watch. If you enjoyed the Looney Tunes or most other cartoon characters, then this movie is for you. Obviously, since King James is in it, his fans should be going gaga over it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have anything to add, please leave it in the comments. We hope to see you back here for our next video. Until then, keep well.